These are the Cook S4 cinema lenses, and they have been used on some of the most influential movies and TV shows over the past 20 plus years, including the recent The Last of Us TV show series, which I really enjoyed. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the history of Cook, what makes the Cook look so special, and explore why the S4s have been so popular for so long. Before we get into this video, I just want to give a massive shout out to this, the Cine Lens Manual. A lot of the research I did for this video was from this book and it really is a fantastic resource if you are a cinematographer or a budding lens nerd like me. Cook have been innovating in the optical space since 1893 and are woven into cinema history due to their extensive list of legendary lenses and achievements. Arguably, their most influential lens series is the Speed Pancros, which have had iterations for almost 90 years. The original Cook S4s were released all the way back in 1998 when Les Zellin, a distributor of Cook lenses in the US, bought Cook with the hopes of reinvigorating the brand and the S4s were the first major step in that direction. And they were a pretty big step. The optical design won a technical Emmy as well as an Academy Award Cytec plaque for James Moultrie for the mechanical design and Mike Salter and Mark Gerkman for the optical design. 2023 marks the 25th anniversary of the release of the S4 and since then, they have been used on an incredible amount of different productions. Commercials, TV series and features have all utilized S4s over the years because of the famous Cook look, comprehensive list of focal lengths and solid mechanics. These productions include features like Casino Royale, Munich, Call Me By Your Name, which was shot entirely on the 35mm, and TV shows such as Game of Thrones, Fargo, Breaking Bad, Narcos, Sherlock and of course, recently, The Last of Us. Roger Deakins has also used them a good amount on features such as The Hurricane, The Village, and No Country for Old Men. It's genuinely insane how many productions have used them, and here in the UK, they have become the staple for British drama over the past decade. Since Ari introduced the Alexa 35, the S4s, along with other older Super 35 Cine lenses, have come back into demand. I love the idea of lens emulation in virtual production, video games, and animated movies and the Cook S4s were actually used by Pixar for Inside Out, and more famously for Toy Story 4, which looked incredible. The amount of time and effort cinematographer Patrick Lynn and Pixar put into recreating the Cook look for the animation really just show in how incredible the film looks. I think we are only going to see more and more of it, especially with how good Unreal Engine is getting as well. In 2005, the Slash I data versions of the S4s were announced, which introduced electronics and encoders into the lenses to provide metadata. This can be for information on focus and iris position, as well as individually calibrated lens distortion and shading maps, which has now become so crucial for so many different workflows. With the last lens in the set coming out in 2012, there are now 18 focal lengths in the S4i set that range from 12 all the way to 300 millimeters. This is an excellent range that will fit any production's needs. The cook look has become a term that everybody in our industry knows, but is often quite hard to describe. The term was actually a marketing phrase coined by Cook all the way back in 2006. And what a stroke of genius it was, as it's now the first thing you think of when you see any of their branding or lenses. To me, I associate warmth and depth with Cook's lenses, and I think others do as well. The warmth of the image comes from a careful balance of chromatic aberration correction which favors a slight defocus of the red wavelengths in the secondary spectrum chromatic aberration. This combines with the tuning of the focus fall off, which drops off softly as you go towards the edges, while still retaining sharpness in the middle of frame, subtle geometric barrel distortion, and similarity in image to the original Cook Speed Pancros, all come together to create that look that so many people love and aspire to use on their productions. This isn't a clean or clinical look. It has character and charm, and that's partly why they have been such a staple in the industry for nearly 25 years. This warm bias is a massive reason why they are associated with the golden age of cinema. Unfortunately, Cook color balance their lenses across not only the S4 set, but across all of their other series of lenses, like the S5s and anamorphic lenses, so you'll get similar performance across them all. The Ingenue Optimo zooms from the S4 era were often paired with the S4s due to them producing a very similar image to the S4s. Cook lenses are still handmade in the UK here in their Leicester factory. Cook were nice enough to invite us up here to have a tour so we can gain an insight into just how elaborate the process of building a lens is 
and it was truly fascinating. Seeing lenses being worked on was super interesting and understanding just how long the whole process takes explains why stock is so limited from Cook and lead times on them are so long as there's clearly a lot of time taken to make them. They assemble the lenses by hand in-house and even grind, polish and coat all of the optics themselves. Each step in the production introduces more people handling the different components, which increases the chances for quality control issues, and it's remarkable the level of detail needed at each of these steps. This means each department has a strict quality control protocol in place. Some of the old machines they still use are insane, especially for polishing, and some of the lovely staff that we spoke to had been at the company for over 40 years. For the S8s, Cook have built a more modern factory just down the road that is solely just used for the creation of their new flagship lenses. The S4s use a modern cam focus optomechanical function design that provides smooth backlash free movement. This updated mechanical design has become a bit of a standard within the industry and their design still holds up today. It's still incredibly robust. As the lenses have been around for so long and use a cam driven system, they are relatively easy to get serviced by a qualified lens technician. This paired with the solid build means that these lenses can last for years, as long as you get them serviced when needed. We managed to catch up briefly with our very own lens engineer, Ben Cridge, to chat through his thoughts on the S4s. So Cook S4s, in my opinion, are a really nice lens design. They're one of the first lenses that I learned to service as a lens technician. They have a really nice design in that the optical block can pop out of the mechanical housing and make it really efficient to service. The mechanical design and the cam that the S4s use make them more reliable than other lenses and different systems of focusing. The cam design obviously is very successful as they've been using it from the S4s to the lenses that they're designing and building today. They've also inspired other manufacturers to adopt similar designs. And I'd say it's clearly worked for them because the design is as old as me. In 2009, Cook took the S4 design and reworked it into the Pancro slash I lenses, which would then be rebranded to the Mini S4 Eyes in 2012. These lenses offer a similar look and feel to the S4s, but in smaller and lighter housings. And they are also limited to T2.8 instead of T2, had a limited set of focal lengths compared to the S4s, and came in at a lower price point. The S4 set has a rated image circle of 30 millimeters, which does mean it's worth checking how the lenses cover your chosen Super 35 format, as some focal lengths may vignette depending on what format you are in. Some of the longer focal lengths have larger image circles, but if you want to see exactly how they perform on your camera in your favorite format, head over to our lens coverage and camera comparison tool over on our website. Link to that is in the description below. The S4s have a very distinct out of focus character to them. This is partially due to the fall off that we mentioned earlier, but also the distinct shape of the eight leaf linear iris, which you can see forming the out of focus highlights quite a bit across the different productions that they have been used on. Different focal lengths behave slightly differently. Some use the lens's iris as the entrance pupil even wide open, which results in some having more rounded bokeh wide open than others. But across the set, as you stop down, you can start to see that very distinct buzzsaw shaped aperture forming our out of focus highlights. The lenses have a pretty standard close focus for Super 35 spherical primes. However, one thing to note is that the Mini S4s actually have a slightly worse close focus compared to the regular S4s on average. For our breathing tests, we pulled from close focus to infinity, which not many people will be doing. So breathing may look a touch worse here than it actually will do in a real world situation. Most of the six lenses we had in to use exhibit some form of lens breathing here. Cook now offers an extensive range of lenses depending on what a given production or cinematographer desires. This ranges from the S4s all the way up through to their most expensive modern optics, the S8s. These are Cook's latest flagship series of lenses designed to be fast, full frame Cook optics. They feature a fully spherical design an updated mechanical and electronic design while still producing the Cook look we've spoken about so much in this video. They also offer the Pancro Eye Classic series, which offers the distinct classic Pancro look, but with modern mechanical design and consistent color balance and matching across the entire series. Inconsistent lens housing and design, as well as inconsistent color balance and matching are two big issues that you can experience with a vintage set of Pancros so having the option to get a new set of these Pancros makes a lot of sense. At CVP, we offer a range of optical servicing 
for a comprehensive list of brands. With over 20 years experience and state-of-the-art in-house equipment, you can trust that our engineering team can give you the best possible service. Buying lenses used can also be a bit of a minefield as some of them will be heavily used and abused, which is why buying used through us can be a much better experience than it can privately. Every lens that comes through our doors used will be professionally evaluated and serviced by one of our experienced staff using our state-of-the-art equipment. Pretty much all of our used kit also comes with a 90-day warranty, which offers you that little bit extra peace of mind. We have a constant stream of unique and interesting kit flowing through our used and next demo section. So if you want to see what we currently have in stock, head over to cvp.com used. We also buy used equipment, so if you want to upgrade or just clear out your old stock fast and easily, get in contact with us via the email below. Cook have an incredible prestige in our industry, and the S4s have been so popular due to their versatile image rendering, unique visual characteristics, solid build quality, and consistency across their large range of available focal lengths. Whether you're shooting a feature film or low budget indie production, the S4s could be an excellent choice for you to shoot with if you want a lens with a bit of soul built to survive and thrive on set. If you have any more questions or thoughts about any of Cook's lenses, let us know in the comments. And if you like the video, please give it a like and maybe consider subscribing so you don't miss out on our awesome upcoming content. And thank you so much for watching.